Hello and welcome back to Goals Galore and welcome back to the Match Day Vlog on the channel. Today the Swans host QPR on Easter Monday. Just seven games left to go and four home games, which means four Match Day Vlogs left of the season. If you're going to enjoy the video, guys, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. This one's going to be interesting and a big, big game. Uh, to start off with, the kit the Swans are wearing today is not the home kit, this one. It's actually a remake of the 1994 kit. Uh, with the Gulf Oil in the middle. Uh, it's, of course, um, a throwback to when we won the Autoglass Trophy back in 1994. Of course, it ended 1-1 after the 90 at Wembley, the Swans' first time at Wembley. And we won on penalties, Roger Freestone saving the final one. So, of course, today, uh, new kit for the Swans. I think it's a one-off. I'm not entirely sure what's happening with it, uh, but... Uh, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the retro remake. Um, and it's a big game today because Swans and QPR, although QPR are a few places down from us in the table, um, you know, that the form is exactly the same. Both got eight points from our last five. Uh, and last time out to QPR, a 92nd minute winner. And the Swans, a late equaliser in Sheffield Wednesday. So it's going to be a tough game. Looking forward to it, though. Uh, and my school prediction is 1-1. One, one. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the game. Uh, let's get down to the stadium. Come on, the Swans. Uh, a win will be much welcome today. Steve Jenkins, John Cordford, and members of the late Frank Burroughs family. Let's welcome them.
The Queen's Park Rangers goal scoring number five, Steve Cook.
Well then, full time and what a boring game. Um, wow, yeah. Can't remember many games like that this season. Probably Watford home um, and this one, really boring. Um, but we didn't help ourselves. We really did slow the game down a lot, especially Nathan Wood. Every time he was on the board, it just felt like he was taking forever. Back to Rushworth, then across to Darling and back to Rushworth and then stand over the ball for like an hour. Oh, <laughs> it, it really was boring. But going forward, I don't know how we haven't scored. Um We've created a lot of good openings. So have QPR. I don't know how they only scored one. I think that on the line block by Harry Darling was absolutely incredible. A lot of other moments in the game where, you know, it it went their way. It could have gone ours. I thought the referee this afternoon was absolutely awful. I think the QPR fans will agree. How there wasn't a yellow card, I don't know. He had no control over the game. Uh, and probably the worst referee I've seen down the old season. Uh, and we've seen a lot of bad ones. Uh, so far so yeah fair play to the QPR fans from traveling down hopefully we will add a safe journey back up to London of course and Sifuentes what a manager um, the QPR fans singing in his name uh, towards the end of the game and rightly so they've got a top manager there I think next season they really could be on to something uh, quite special to be honest whether they push for the playoffs I don't know but you know it's an exciting time for QPR after you know uh, a few seasons of um not so good. But yeah, I'll leave, leave you all go. Hopefully you've all a fantastic Easter. Happy uh, bank holiday. If that, is that even a thing? Uh, I don't know. But um, <laughs> I'll see you all in the next and very soon, guys. Quite deflating, that one. Uh, a big squad clear out needed in the summer. Hopefully Joe Allen's injury is not too serious because I'd love him to stay next season. And he really does deserve a contract extension. But I'll leave you go on that. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe as always. Really does help the channel out. And I'll see you in the next and very soon, guys. Take care. Good. Bye.